Thanks, Doppler. And now to extra perspective on one of the inductees to the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame. Due to COVID-19, the induction ceremony for the class of 2020 had to be postponed. Next month, the class will finally be honored. Included in that class is someone that I actually had to see had the opportunity to wrestle. Pro wrestler Gori Guerrero. ABC7 Sports Director Adrian Ochoa takes a look back at the life of Gori Guerrero and why the road to the Hall of Fame was anything but smooth. To me, my dad was always been my hero. People think of him as very, he was strict, but he also had that loving, fun side of him. They are El Paso's first family of Lucha Libre. The Guerreros. Long before Eddie Guerrero would become WWE champion, there was his father, the patriarch of the family, Gory. Gory was to the world of professional wrestling what Henry Ford was to the automobile industry. He was a pioneer. A successful wrestler in Mexico and in the U.S., Gory was as tough as they come. This family photo says it all. Gory won numerous championships throughout his wrestling career, a career that began in the late 1930s all the way up until his retirement in the early 80s. Later, he promoted wrestling events in both El Paso and Juarez. However, his daughter Linda remembers her father's generous heart, helping Borderland charities. He was a giver, he was not a taker, always giving and trying to figure out how to give. He also gave his knowledge of wrestling as a trainer. His four sons would follow in his footsteps and have successful careers of their own. Hector Rincón was one of Gory's students. He trained alongside Gory's youngest son, Eddie. Uh, he would correct you when you were, when you did something wrong, but when you did something right, he wasn't going to give you a compliment. It was just, like, okay, so <laughs> you did it. Move on to the next thing. Gory Guerrero died in 1990. He was already a member of the Hall of Fame in Mexico and a member of the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in the U.S. Getting into the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame, however, was difficult. A pro wrestler had never been included. Sports Talk radio host Steve Kaplowitz kept submitting Gory's name for induction. Kaplowitz nominated him five times before he was finally elected. Gory belonged in the Hall of Fame years and years ago. He really did. And just because... Um, it's professional wrestling, and some people might have had a bias towards that. I think you realize just the kind of shape your body has to be in and, and what, um, you know, what he's meant to, to just professional wrestling in Mexico and, and, and did so much here in El Paso for so many people. Gory's induction is an acknowledgement that wrestlers are athletes. Going uh, on a two-mile run is totally different than being in the ring for about 15, 20 minutes with a wrestler. Uh, anybody that says that wrestlers aren't athletes, they're, they're, they're sadly mistaken. Ricon became a wrestling trainer himself. His former student, Randy Therez, now runs his own wrestling school in El Paso, Pro Wrestling Zen. The moves taught here go back to the legend himself. It, uh, it all, the knowledge kind of always passes by, and I want to try to use that, you know, so using those maneuvers, it's a great way to say thank you to who have, have paved the way, you know. And in pro wrestling today, Gory Guerrero's name still lives on. He's got two wrestling moves named after him. We got the Gory Special. And for something with a little bit more punch, we got the Gory Bomb. A borderland legend finally where he belongs. Two of his sons are no longer with us, but perhaps one day another Guerrero will follow. And I hope it does open the door for not just Eddie, but for my brothers, my other three brothers, and, and my nephew. Adrian Ochoa, ABC7. Wow, that brought back some memories. Gory Guerrero's wife was also excited to hear the news of her late husband's induction. While she will not be able to attend the induction ceremony, other members of the family will be making the trip to El Paso, including his daughter, Linda. The ceremony is scheduled for June 30th, and I think, Eric, you and I should try the <laughs> Gory bump. Uh, I was thinking, you know, when you see, you hear Gory special, you think uh, maybe like a good entree at a restaurant or something. <laughs> no. That's not a Gory special that I want to try. That, that looked painful. <laughs> it's great to see the legacy lives on both in the sport itself and also beyond. Absolutely.
Well, people who go from El Paso to Juarez, listen up.